Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to continue where we left off from our last video and head into the biological prosthetics center, I think. Right. Let's go ahead and proceed into here. What the hell? Okay, there's like scorpion ones, spider ones. I mean, that was more spidery to me, but. Now we gotta go in there. <laughs> I am not prepared. <laughs> I mean, I am, but. <laughs> Where this little bastard go? Got him. Well, that's just one of them. There might be more. For all I know, little babies turn into those. Oh, that's creepy. Credits. Text log. Alright. Vital personnel. Caswell, Dalil, Clerical Error, Zoe. Specimen 46 is ready for harvest. I was about to notify Alvarez a prep for medical leave. When I checked the database, I saw Ensign Sable has been moved ahead of her. Is that right? Alvarez has been on the waiting list for three months now. I thought arm transplants took priority over a coin unit. D. Leal to Caswell. Uh, here's your clerical error. One of them bought CC stock at the last purchase, but one didn't. Guess which one was suddenly bumped up to vile personnel. It's not worth the headache to push back on it, trust me. And before you think about filing an ethics complaint, just remember the wise words of Hippocrates shit rolled down. <laughs> Really? Yeah, funny. Ah, oh, fuck me. Gotta kill baby monsters now? Oh, man. baby monster got they're not human anymore. Oh there's another one? Oh I didn't kill it. Damn. What are we at? Now we're on the last of our of our uh, plasma cutter rounds. Ah, oh, I could have used that. Damn it. Well, let's use a little little pack for now. Ah, oh, we might use both of them. Credits. More credits. Anything else I can use? Probably not. Long scan rig to unlock workstation.
Where the hell do I scan the rigs at? That's happened twice already that I'm not too sure, like... Is that something... Like, I can't do yet? Or is... Am I just not remembering something to do? Uh, I'll wanna blame... The first one, but... It's probably something I didn't remember to do. That's some um, heavy shock therapy there. Oh, we got a node. Let's not touch him, shall we? So that opened this door. Where we killed a bunch of things already. And. Do we gotta go back down? I think we gotta go back downstairs. Right, because that's the only door at the way. Yeah, we do gotta go back downstairs. Dude, why is your body following me? Fully charged already. Yeah, figured it was in here. Or through here. We'll use the bench. We're gonna upgrade some HP. So we can just go higher and higher, you know. Understand what the the bars mean, because I mean I see three HP things. Or yeah, so there's three six. I would believe that there's more to upgrade <laughs> than just that. Next, we want to upgrade some damage and capacity for it. Alright, we're going to save it real quick. Then we'll continue through the door here. Find us a shock pad. Did I forget to pick it up in here or something? shock pad I can use on the barricade. I'm heading back there now. Watch the voltage on that pad. I'm not losing anyone else. 
about totally missing something. Submitted now available for purchase. It's in our inventory. Hmm. Could start using the pulse rifle. Not rely just on the plasma cutter. We're gonna pull that back. Gonna start using the pulse rifle. <laughs> this plasma cutter is really useful, but yeah, we gotta gotta indoor in here. Let's blow this thing up. I guess those windows are probably blast proof. Find the captain's body. And try to find Nicole at the same time, right? Let's save it real quick. Plasma cutter upgrade. Cool. Security clearance required. Wow. It time? It's time finally to skip the rest of it. Don't open that door. 
they have come. All died. I think they're talking that door that's barricaded right there. Save me, save us. No. Should be expecting a bunch of them in here. Loop and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Medical is overwhelmed. We need help. Look at his wounds. We can't handle so many trauma cases, and the command crew won't tell us what's happening. Oh, he sees Shit. Maybe I have some cage we left. Fall on the close hologram. Remove the battery and ensure no power circuit being used on the circuit breaker. Oh, so we gotta move it over and then take it out. Oh, same thing again. Loop and transmit to all personnel. This is Senior Medical Officer Nicole Brennan. Level 2, security clearance required. Security clearance required. Yeah, 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 I got it. Text log. Dr. Warwick, Chief Psychic, Psych Officer, for Psychic Observation, Patient Harris. Harris is asleep. After another dose of sedative, he seems literally unable to sleep without chemical aid. Most people succumb to exhaustion after more than 50 hours of waking, regardless of circumstances, not Harris. Oops. His bizarre explanation of the events on the colony points to the same paranoia we've seen elsewhere. Plan inside. His guilt is not in doubt. Two security officers were present when he took Dr. Ciarello hostage and murdered Nurse Evans. And Harris doesn't deny his actions, but he shows no remorse. In fact, he insists there was no crime. Specifically, that Evans wasn't a nurse when he killed her. This is classic sociopathic behavior, but Harris exhibits no other symptoms. He's affable and friendly, able to empathize and offer original opinions. When questioned about Evans's murder, however, he becomes withdrawn and uncommunicative. He claims explanation is stuck in his mind and that talking about it mixes up its message. He also undergoes intermittent hallucinatory periods, again similar to those experienced by other colonists. During these long waking periods, Harris exhibits writing behavior on any available surface, claiming the dreams need to speak and that he's attempting to make it whole again. What that means, I haven't determined yet. Given the complexities of this case, I plan to reach out to my colleagues for more insight. And Harris, that's them. They're probably dead. Or them. Can't open that door. Can't open that door. Well, I mean, it'll open when I move the power thing over there, which will open that door. I went in here, right? Yeah. Let's 
go ahead and move this thing over. Medical log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. So much for being paranoid. I repurposed this room to run counseling sessions without unitologists interfering. Now it's the only place I feel safe. I recovered a limb after yesterday's attack. Genetically, it's human tissue with bizarre mutations. But it's just a sample. It's not enough to figure out a cure. I need... Wait, where's that report from engineering? The engineer has pulled something out of machinery. Limbs missing, torso intact. Okay. Time for a real autopsy. Fine autopsy in engineering. Autopsy and engineering. Several tram stations are still locked down and on weight engineering. Can't reach the morgue until I find a way through the barricade. I need to retrieve Captain Riggs from the morgue. So. Dude. battery at it. <laughs> there's anything else to pick up. I 
things really don't want to die. I'm trying to unload it. Shooting limbs isn't enough. <laughs> Man. Intense fighting these things. Small med pack. around you do <laughs> get you dead <laughs> audio Mercer, it's Terrence Kine. you were in surgery so I left this with Warwick he'll be discreet I just got the latest report from Aegis 7 the situation's worse than Captain Matthias will admit. 40% of the colony's population is now showing symptoms. Depression, hallucinations, more violence. People are dying down there. I know it's linked to the marker somehow, but I just don't have enough data. Or sir, maybe I was wrong. We need answers by any means possible. That patient, Brent Harris, might be our last hope. I'm going to go in. Oxygen. Oxygen room again. It looks like that. I wonder if that dude's alive. They keep talking about that patient. Things are just falling apart here. Another room I can't get into. Damn. <laughs> Got on the last of our full uh, ammo. There's a message in here. Security request retrieved. You left me. I woke in the dark with them scratching in the walls. Scratching like rats. And you will lock me in with them. Fuck it. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out. I'll cut them out.
Thought she was a hologram at first, but damn, she was alive. <laughs> Scan the rig, come off workstation. Double check because nothing on workstations. I don't know, I walked to that door that one time and it let me, so... Wondering if all that stuff just unlocks when I got the captain's rig. Oh, the morgue, so we're there. Let's go ahead and save this before we head in. Because we've been through a lot right now. <laughs> Gotta shoot all limbs. I blame other shooters for <laughs> making me prone to needing to do a headshot. So there's a power thing. It's interesting they have such a secure, huge morgue on a, on a, um, I don't know, mining, mining vessel? Got it. Shadow right there. <laughs> There's proof of ghosts. I wonder what that thing does. I want to have a close by, wherever the hell I'm at. Or wherever I'm gonna be. Check for everything. Autopsy report. Medical log, Dr. Domus. Medical examiner. Death of Captain Matthias. My unfortunate duty officially pronounced Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted and will be left for investigators to determine once we return to port. I will constrain my comments to the condition of the body. Subject was in generally good health for his age. 
though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count very low with eosinophils, eosinophils, in particular, almost non-existent. His pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset, but it does not appear to have had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicate a brief struggle premortem. Light contusions around the ribcage indicate he was restrained, likely for a brief period. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma seizure and death. The angle of penetration into the ocular cavity indicates the injury was not self-inflicted. Examination required the removal of the object to confirm cause of death, but it has been preserved for the investigative team to study. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unnatural death. Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. Okay. I'm gonna make sure we didn't miss anything. That's the captain. I was talking to that one doctor. Fucking that go. Oh wow. Your shit survived. Oh shit. <laughs> captain's rig. Isaac, what's your status? Do you have the captain's rig? Fuck me! Ugh. Transmitting codes now. I saw it, Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into a, another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. God. Maybe the command computer has something. Uh, where's Daniels when you need her? Head back to the security checkpoint. It's safer there. At least I can upgrade your clearance. Well, that dude's gone. Security clearance is now level one. Higher clearance doors and lockers are now accessible. Okay, cool. Connection lost. Let's 
nothing else in here, huh? Go to the security station. Which, oh, we can go through here. Clearance Very nice. Confirmed. Oh? Oh, it's an elevator. Oh yeah, because we were in the morgue. That's right. Add the elevator to it. Isaac. I'm here. What the hell's happening? The computer says the Ishimura's engines are offline. We're on a decaying orbit toward Aegis 7. Oh god. I have to get to engineering. There's no time. That tram station's offline. Unless... Here. Head back to the flight deck. I'll guide you from there. If this damage report's right, there's a shortcut to engineering. Or the hangar bay. I wonder why it did that. Like, why it, it's like, statics out. Like, it goes staticky and then, like, ends the transmission. I felt like he's kind of in control. I wonder any chests in here I couldn't open. Oh, here they are. Clearance confirmed. Clearance confirmed. Give me my rounds. Is there something in here I couldn't open? No, oh, the door. Double check if there was anything in here. Doesn't appear to be. So. Oh, level two, wow. So let's head back then. I guess we can come back at any point then. I mean, I should have connected the dots with that one there. So we need to move the power thing back. Right? Or we can leave it like that. Huh? Can open this one. Oh, a node, nice. <laughs> Why do I drag bodies like that? It's so weird. Okay, cool. Go to the shop or store. A rare and expensive electric component sell at the store for credits. Perfect. Cartridge pack, bring this part to the bench to extend the upgrade path and gain access to a special upgrade. Two nodes. 
inventory. I think we're good on what we have right now. So checking on the map, where do we have to head to? To the tram. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and do it. Awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and head to that tram and hopefully get out of here during our next video. Thanks for watching this video today from Chunky Slot Gaming. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more playthroughs and future gameplay content. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave us a comment. And if you haven't already, be sure to follow us on social media, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or X, Twitch, YouTube, and TikTok. And as always, thanks for hanging around, and we'll see you on the next one.